Imagine buying a skin in Fortnite or Roblox or any game that you like. And you could take that skin and walk around in this virtual world. You can go shopping in it. You could play other games with your friends in it. You could do work meetings in it. Whatever you want. That's totally up to you. Well, that's what we're going to talk about today is the metaverse. The metaverse is the next step in, in gaming and not even just gaming and shopping and life and work. It's going to be huge. So Facebook, for those that aren't familiar right now, Facebook decided to go ahead. They want to change their name and uh, they want to create the metaverse. They want to be known for the metaverse, not just Facebook anymore. They want to be known for bigger and better things. Um, a lot of people are going to compare this to you know, Ready Player One. That's what you're always going to hear. Ready Player One, Ready Player One, Ready Player One. It's not too far off. Now, it's not there yet. It's nowhere close to what that is. But this is the, st this is the beginning blocks. This is the stepping stones to get to where we need to get. Um, if you were to look at even like video games 10, 15 years ago and the difference in the graphics and, and what you could do then and the possibilities then to what you can do now, um, just think of, you know, this is the beginning of the metaverse and what it's going to look like in 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now, um, it's going to be big. So that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Uh, this video is a little different than what I'm normally uh, talking about in here, but this is something I'm very, 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 very interested in and I've been waiting for something like this. I've been a gamer my whole life. Um, you know, I remember playing normal normal Nintendos back in the 80s, you know what I mean? And uh, and so this is something that's that's very neat to me and I've seen gaming and platforms and, and just all this stuff evolve from, you know, the 80s to now and uh, I'm just blown away by it. So we're going to have some fun with it. We're going to talk. I'm going to give you some points on what I think. Um, I want to have the discussion. So if you have anything to add, if I do miss anything along the way and you feel like you need to add it, let me know in the chat below or in the comments below and, uh, and you know, I'll get back to every single one of you. So that being said, let's get started. All right, I want to start off by talking about the entertainment uh, and that kind of industry and how that can play into the metaverse, okay? Uh, for those that are familiar with Fortnite, uh, Travis Scott did a concert, okay? So if you've been there, I went, I actually played, I went to myself, I'm not a big Fortnite player myself, but I did go to this concert because I had to see it with my own eyes. It was absolutely incredible. I can't even explain it. Um, basically what it was, Travis Scott, there's a big avatar of him, it's a concert, he's singing his songs, and I don't remember how many people could be there, I think it was like 100 people or maybe more um, per, you know, server they had. They had tons of them up anyway. And uh, you're just seeing these avatars everywhere, all over the place, watching this concert together you can jump around run around dance do whatever you want as your avatar okay and the concerts playing and everyone has a good view of it it was absolutely incredible even if you're not a Fortnite fan i highly recommend that you check out what the concert look like i'm sure you can find it on youtube somewhere it was absolutely incredible and again myself i'm not a Fortnite player and i loved it i actually thought that was it was such a phenomenal uh concert because the 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 things are, are, are limitless the things you could do are limitless you know it's uh it was unbelievable anyway so you could do things like that so in the metaverse they could do concerts your favorite bands or who knows what they're gonna do uh things like that it's gonna be huge and you don't even have to leave your house you could do it dressed up in any avatar you want you can go with your buddies and just have some fun with it and that's what i did when i did the travis when i went to the travis Con uh, scott concert you know there was a few of us we partied up we're on the xbox chat and we're talking through it and stuff, and we're watching it, and we're all blown away by it, uh, and, and just how incredible and how fun it is. And that is just the beginning, like I say. So there's going to be uh, companies, and that's the thing. So even though Facebook wants to make um, you know, the metaverse, it's going to be ran by all these other companies. They're going to be involved as well game uh companies like epic games which you know has Fortnite, or disney could you imagine disney as part of the 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 metaverse and you can walk around as iron man you can walk around as captain america the hulk whoever you want you can buy any skin you want you can watch movies be involved in it it's the the possibilities are endless um and i want to say again this might be the at the beginning you might not be able to do things like that but as this evolves and grows you will be and uh it was just amazing so i definitely was there for the travis scott concert i thought it was absolutely phenomenal i think roblox is planning on doing one soon and uh there's many many more companies that are going to be getting into this because uh, again it's it's the future and i think all these companies want to be in there right away and like anything if you get in first you benefit the most and uh, i think a lot of these companies see that this is the future so yeah i know roblox wants to do something like that i think there was travis scott i, I think there was ariana grande as well I, I i don't know i could be wrong but uh anyway if you haven't seen that concert i highly recommend you check it out so the next thing i want to talk about okay is you could say you have your own home in this metaverse in this virtual reality world you have your own home okay 
Now, a lot of you or some of you or maybe none of you, maybe you maybe you watching, you don't have NFTs. Maybe you, you, you're the person watching right now, you have a ton of NFTs, but there's nothing you can really do with them, right? An NFT right now is just, it's in your wallet. You can look at it. It's, you know, it's worth whatever, a thousand bucks, a hundred bucks, 10,000 bucks, a million bucks, whatever it is, but you don't have a purpose for it right now. Well, put it this way. If you were in the metaverse and you have a house in the metaverse, you know, you're where you, you know, you just have your setup. And you can actually hold these up and put these up on your walls as if they were paintings. You could decorate your house with these, you know, thousand dollar NFTs that you've bought and you're just sitting in a wallet. And you're like, well, now what? Right. Well, you could literally just like if you go to a store and you buy a painting, you know, I have I have paintings all around my room here. I paid good money for these and they're up on my wall. Well, guess what? In the metaverse, in the virtual world, you buy an NFT, a beautiful NFT. You could put it on your wall, decorate your house, you know, make it you make it unique, make it you. And it's things like that that is just, it's going to be so cool. You can literally walk in a neighborhood, walk into, you know, your buddy's house and, hey, they got a fully furnished house. They got NFTs here, NFTs there. They got this thing here, this thing there, uh, which is really, really cool as well. So another thing I want to talk about, is, and that leads me into the cryptocurrency, okay? So there's NFTs, there's cryptocurrency. You know, people believe cryptocurrency is the future. It's the future of money. It's, it's you know, it's it's one, it's, 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 it's universal, okay? Not like, you know, the Canadian dollar, the American dollar, the whatever, 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 the pound, whatever. One Bitcoin is one Bitcoin. One whatever is one whatever. So this is a perfect way to get cryptocurrency used and actually used for something is in this metaverse. You know, you don't need cash. You could start, you know, everything's going through whatever, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever it is, or, you know, and, uh, and this is where you can use your crypto. So NFTs, there's purposes. There's, uh, you know, you can have an art museum. You can make your house an art museum of NFTs or you use your crypto, whatever it is. And uh, it's just a perfect way to get cryptocurrency in use. And, uh, you know, in this virtual world, um, Again, the possibilities are endless, and you're going to hear me say that a lot. Uh, so now I want to talk about maybe the possibilities of shopping, you know? Um, you know, just like if you're going to a website, I don't know, whatever store you want to shop at, whatever it's called, you go to their store, you go through their page, and you're, you're you know, you're, you're, you're cycling through their, their, their page and seeing what there is, the clothes, whatever you're buying. Well, in the metaverse, you could literally walk in their store and see all their, their clothing or whatever it is you're looking for on the walls. If you're looking for a car, you can walk into a, you know, a Tesla showcase, you know, and you're seeing the Teslas right on the floor, right in front of your eyes, uh, all through your VR set or whatever your whatever it is uh, they're doing their, you know, AR, whatever it is. It's absolutely amazing, and I know people are gonna, you know, people are gonna say, "Oh, this is too much," or "This is it's scary." The technology, this and that, uh, but you know what? It is the future, and it's gonna be. And there's nothing, you know, whatever your opinions are on it, it's not gonna slow it down or stop it. This is the way we're going. This is the future. Um, you know, it's like when the internet first came out, people were laughing. Oh, this is gonna replace books. Yeah, okay. And well, look where we are now, right? So. Um, I tell you, it's it's this is the next wave of our technology. I think it's we're going to be fully immersed in it and and living through it and stuff, which I'm excited about. You know, yes, uh, you know, I, I I like the real world too, but you know, this is really 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 neat. And uh, I, again, super excited. So yeah, you can go shopping in a store, or yeah, you want to go look at cars. Well, let's go walk in the porsche you know dealership obviously you're not walking out with a porsche at least most of us aren't uh you know or a tesla or a whatever and you can go in and and, and physically walk around their showroom from the the comfort of your own home and look at the cars um uh, which which to me is a super super cool so now i want to talk about the you know i always I, you know even though i am for this i want to stay neutral okay so i want to talk about the good and i want to talk about the possibilities of the bad because there's you know there's going to be a little bit of both potentially okay so uh again i am i am very excited for this and i am for this but i do want to i want to keep a, a neutral ground on it uh when i do make these videos so i think a lot of uh, the concerns that people are having if there is any concerns is that Facebook is the head of this, that they're spearheading this. And, you know, there's been a lot of problems in the past with, you know, leaking our personal information or whatever it is, you know, they, they know too much about you and this and that, and they have all your, you know, your history and, every, you know, and I get it. I, and I do understand that. And I do, I totally understand if people have a problem with that. I personally am okay with it, but, uh, you know, I know, I understand where people's problems are at. So that is probably where people's, uh, people get kind of turned off of it a little bit is that that's Facebook that's trying to run it. And, you know, people have lost trust in Facebook and, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, and whatever you know the whole brand uh people have lost faith in it and, and and rightfully so you know if that's that's your thing rightfully so again me personally i'm okay with it but i understand where people are coming from when it comes that way but again like i'm gonna say to me this is the future and uh, somebody's gotta run it um you know 
it, it is what it is, man. He's the guy. So it is Facebook. It's going to be running it again. They're going to change their name. I think they want to call it Horizon or something, uh, but they do want to change the name. They, they want to get away from just a so They don't want to be known as a social media platform anymore. They want to be known as a metaverse kind of thing, which is, you know, it's a good move on them. It's a very, very big move on them. So uh, that's people's biggest concern, I would say. All right, so all in all, I'm going to close it up here. All in all, I want to say, um, you know, is it good or bad? We, we don't fully know yet. We don't fully know what, what this is all about. But again, I am excited for it. And uh, I, I can't wait to jump in. And I want to jump in with both feet. This is something I, I, uh, I want to look at, like, very, very deeply. I want to get involved. Um, you know, and I, and I do things like stream. I do, I'm a full-time streamer on Twitch. So if you guys uh, ever go around Twitch, I'm going to put the link below twitch.tv slash, uh, twitch.tv slash Capone gaming. And I'll put the link below. You can come check me out. Come get to talk to me anytime you want. If you want to come talk to me about crypto or the metaverse or just anything, man, come hang out, get to know our community. We got a really, really good spot. Um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, if, if there's ever the opportunity to stream, you know, walking through this thing, you're going to see it on my channel. 100%. I'm going to be very, very involved. Um, again, this is something I'm excited for. I can't wait. We don't know if it's good or bad until it kind of happens, but I've seen, you know, this kind of stuff evolve from the 80s. You know, I did play Atari and normal Nintendo, Super Nintendo 64. You, you go on and on all the way to where we are today with, you know, the new Xboxes and the PCs. I, I am a streamer. This is what I do for a living. Um, so, um, I'm excited to see the next step, and I, I do believe this is the next step. And, and again, from what I've seen it from Nintendo to now, it's just it's mind blowing. It is absolutely mind blowing from where I've seen. This is we're going back, you know, 25 years. We're going 25 years, and and the difference between then and now is just mind blowing. If you ever want to check something like that, go look at graphics from the 80s. Like you know, go look at uh, Super Mario or something, you know, from the 80s, and look at a game uh, from today. And that's just in a 25 year span. Could you imagine what 20 years from now is going to look like? You know, we might not even be able to, to differ differentiate, you know, reality from, you know, fiction. Uh, it, it's crazy. So anyway, I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys uh, like the video and you hit that sub button, that like button, and leave a comment. Let me know if I missed anything, if there's any topics you wish I would have, uh, have talked about or things that, you know, your, your opinion on it. What do you feel? And uh, let me know. All right, I'm out of here, you beauties, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.